here at downside of the racing today actually kind of pretty out it was supposed to rain not sure what happened but i had to come up to lexington to glenn where i bought this car at because one of my side marker lots one of these right here actually on the other side had been it had been cutting in and out when i first got the car and it had finally gone out so luckily for me it was only about a 30 minute stop and I don't know if you can really see it, but it's fixed now, so it works, so it makes me happy. That was the only thing really wrong with the car, and it took like 30 minutes. I was really impressed. I think all they had to do was pop it out. I think it was corroded a little bit. I'm not really sure exactly what happened, but it was corroded a little bit on the inside, and so the light wasn't turned on, but now it's fixed, so shout out to Glenn Ford. Shout out to the shop foreman. He fixed it in like five minutes once they finally got the car in there, so really cool guy. Fresh little wash job and a little touchless car wash, not too bad. But thankfully it was under warranty and didn't have to paint. Richmond. I stopped by on my way back from Lexington from Glen just to go through this cool little parking garage. I don't really know how much you all can see. But maybe I, I snapped a few pictures too. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's good for acoustics. Sorry, I probably had the camera in my face, but definitely need to leave here now after that. But um, <laughs> headed home now. I'm going to meet up with Jared here in a little while, see how his, uh, he, I know he got his new wheels and tires on. He went with the same performance pack wheels, but in gloss this time, and nine and a half wide all the way around. So with his uh, 20 millimeter spacers, they poke out really good. And he got the uh, the tires I have on the front of my car all the way around, the Firestone Firehawk Indy 500s. And so we'll probably test those out, see how they do, see how they hit. And uh, I might make it into the video as well. But uh, yeah, I got my side marker light fixed and that really makes me happy because that means nothing is wrong with the car currently <laughs> and that was the only thing it was really small but it was just annoying knowing that it uh what didn't work but uh main reason i went and got it fixed is because i'm gonna order some dial dynamics led side markers and i wanted to know that that connection like still worked make sure it didn't really need to be replaced just completely or anything and so now i, I got to go ahead so i'm gonna order those just 80 bucks from dial dynamics and they pop right in so can't complain about that but other than that guys i'm gonna head home see you then 